All right, here's some interesting features of the new Photos app in uh, iPhone. So you open it up and it brings it to uh, all photos. That's how I've got it set. It's got the date October 1st, 2019. And if you look down here, you've got a couple things you can do. You can go to years. And what it does is it brings in different years of photos. So if you want to look at photos just from 2016 or 15 or you know, going all the way back in time. <laughs> Let's see how far we go back to 1970. I don't think that's from 1970, but for some reason it's reading that as a 1970. So it does by the year. And then if you want to do it by the month, bam, look, you can do it by the month. Here's the this month. Here's the last month. Oh, look. So it's giving me the weeks, it looks like. Interesting. August. So it gives you a couple ones, and then you see there's July. And so that's a way to break it down. So if you're just looking for something that you took in July, you could go back to that. Then you can go to days. Here's days. I just pressed on it. And that gives you, you know, let's go, go forward. The last thing I... I did a screenshot of this, and then these are some videos that I did in the last couple days. I just did these videos. And then you can go to All Photos, and that just basically gives you the kind of format that you used to have there. <clears throat> now, you can go here for you, and these are they're for you sharing suggestions, and they, they have a couple different things like memories, August 10th, 2018. Best of the last two months, you know, and I'm not quite sure how they do this. They do it somehow. You know, they got some kind of a logarithm that runs that. But then you can go to albums, and albums are the ones that, like, here's here's this one. This is your recents. This is your Instagram pictures that you've done. And over here, you got your favorites. Over here, you've got um, uh, Instagram, again, for I've got a couple Instagram accounts. Uh, and then over here, you've got, uh, at the bottom, it's got this it's kind of like the same as the old setup you got videos you got you know like if you go here you go see your videos you want to go back you just go back up here click on it if you want to see your selfies these are all the selfies that you've taken so <laughs> that's kind of interesting and then you go back and then you've got live photos you know if you've got it in live photo where it's kind of like a short video these are all the short videos and then um, you've got your portraits which I think I've I only did two. I did them with Jerry when we were doing a photo shoot. And then you got the bursts. Bursts are where um, you shoot a, a, like five or six photos at once. or and, and so I had a couple bursts in here. And I did those bursts by accident, I think. And then you got screenshots. And those are, those are where you take a screenshot. The way you do a screenshot is you take, you're going to press this button, and you're on and off button at the same time, like this. And that does a screenshot. That's how you do a screenshot. And then if you want to look at it, you can go like that. And then if you like the screenshot, you know, you can save it. Or you hit done. And what it does is it gives you this little thing here. And you can go ahead and you can delete the screenshot. You can save it to photos. Or you can save it to a flat file. I'm going to delete it. So anyway, and let's go back to albums. And so then you've got other albums. You've got imports, which I've got none. you got hidden ones, which I've done, got none. And then you got recently deleted. And this is how you delete it. You go in here, and then you go, you go, I wonder why I'm deleting those. Uh, maybe I doubles those. So I'm going to select, I'm going to delete all. And then it's going to delete nine photos, it asked me, just to make sure. Now those are gone. That gives me a little bit more space. And so those are some of the new features uh, on your uh, photo app in your iPhone. Over here is uh, you can search too. This is interesting. So you go in, you could search all the pictures that you have of that person. And what it does is it looks for every picture and there's 50 photos with my sister in. <laughs> so, you know, that's an interesting thing. If you want to get out of that, you just come up here and hit cancel. Bam, done. So let's, let's search my brother. And it looks like I got uh, 23 photos that they found. And then we'll cancel. And let's go Ava. Let's see how many we got Ava. Oh, holy crap, I got 183 photos. That's because I was on vacation with them. <laughs> All right, so that is some of the features. Then you've got places. So if you want to, like, 
Check out all the pictures you took at Coconut Creek. Bam. Coconut Creek Sport Complex, Coconut Creek. So these are, you know, different ones. You can see all by hitting that. And it then just gives you all the different pictures that you took there. I usually delete those and because I'm trying to save room on my thing. Um, here, let's go to home. See how many pictures are at home. So that we got home in Boca Raton, home. And so, you know, the, so there's a lot of things you can do on this. Let's cancel that. And then let's look at the categories. So we've got the beach, we got sports, we got water sports. Let's take a look at water sports. So look at all these pictures that have water in them. <laughs> I don't know how it does this, but it just, for some reason it picked up water sports. I've not, this is stuff I haven't put in there. It's got babies, it's got flowers, it's got sunbathing, it's got animals. Let's look at the animals. So these are all the pictures of basically uh, Lily. <laughs> all right. So anyway, that's some of the features in the new iPhoto, or not iPhoto, but it's called Photos app in on your um, on your iPhone. Uh, I'm going to show you a lot more videos on how to use this because it's pretty complex. There's a lot of things you can do, especially in the editing, and we'll go over that in in uh, in videos that will be coming up. All right, peace out. Hope you like this little inf informative uh, video on how to use your iPhone.